welcome back to Just Painted. Hey, everybody. So, during the weekend, we painted Calandrio. All right, and uh, we started with the face. All right, so the goal is to try to finish up the face, including the hair, by this coming weekend. Okay, because we're going to continue to finish the torso. Now, the dilemma is that... Um, uh, blonde hair is very hard to do and there's a couple of uh, videos out there I will reference them down below uh, for you guys to see one that I like very much is from uh, Vince Venturella mini painter or he did some busts on how to do hair in all different colors and he has a very in-depth video on how to approach you know to do blonde hair uh, and things like that uh, and red hair and all he has a whole series on that so I recommend to go see that and then Pro Acro Miami Hobbies has one that Gilbert from Red Dragon just shared and I, you know, I like that approach too all right I just don't have those all of those paints that they use I do have some but not all of them but I'm going to substitute with some other stuff but I'm also going to uh, do a little bit of my approach so I'm going to combine two and then mine you know and then see where it goes um, uh, so I figured you know what let me film it <laughs> if it works I'll post it if it doesn't obviously you're not gonna see this so you know but <laughs> so what I need to do what I the approach that I want to do first is I want to start off doing the shadows and then work my way up to the highlights okay into the lighter hair now I don't want to go too dark so some of this stuff is going to be softened up later on so so be aware of that um, I do have colors here to go with all right for the shadows I, I'm approaching I think with the golden uh, dark golden brown by Pro Acro all right and I'm not painting the whole hair uh, and one thing that Vince Petrella says on his video is that you know people tend to put darker colors in the creases and that's not so true all right um, you don't want to you know hair in the light acts very differently and stuff like that and you know where you don't see where you see the darker colors you're gonna see in them on the underneath where the light is not shining or is not uh, visible so that's where you want to put your shadows and you don't want to put them in the creases because then you get a, a, a natural look and I'm going more for realism here as much as I can I try to approach this 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 figure. I, I love the, the sculpt on this thing. I want to try to do the best I can with the with the with the hair color to try to. Because I think if I don't do the hair color right, it's just not gonna. Now, one thing for blonde too is don't use yellow, or or like a dark yellow. You know, maybe a little hint of yellow. But if you see, if you look at blonde hair, it, it's like a a straw color, very light straw color. So you're looking more in the teens and things like that, not so much in the yellows and stuff. So, um, so I'm going to use a couple different colors and things like that to just to get that, you know, but her hair is so tough looking because it's so light. So, um, what I'll do here in the next break, I'll put a picture up here on the corner. And so you guys, we could use that as a reference, but, um, uh, yeah, her hair is very light, you know, so how do you approach that and stuff like that? So that's why I've been a little bit, um, you know hesitant about how to approach this thing and you're a little apprehensive but you know I gotta get it done so might as well just start working on it if it doesn't work out then I'll start all over again but you know it is what it is um, so I wanted to give it a try and I figured you know what let me record it <laughs> all right so you guys will get to see the mess up all right so let me get a couple things ready here and then we'll get started all right so I was gonna use dark golden brown but I changed my mind all right because I think it's just too dark so, Cork Brown by Vallejo. Okay, we're going to start with that. We're going to use that as a base color. Uh, if I have to go darker, I will use that color. All right, so just bear in mind. So, um, I'm going to put some color on the palette, put a little bit of water here. All right. Now, you can use a wet uh, palette if you like. And you're going to paint the whole hair that color okay so let's get started all right so we're gonna apply the cork brown 
nice and even coats all over the the hair I put a little bit of water just to thin it down a little bit and just apply it generously with a, with a nice broad brush it's a nice size kick so just nice and generously all over the place make sure you get good coverage Apply it generously. This is your base color, don't forget. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing the broad brush like I'm using there in those tight spaces, go ahead and switch over to a thinner one. But Alright, but keep on applying it. And switch over, you start doing the braid once you're done with that. Well, don't feel bad if you get some on the armor or anything like that because it's just a base color. Um, so if you just, you know, get some color on the armor, don't feel bad. Because I'm, I'm still going to paint that old black as a base, so it doesn't matter. So here we go. Just make sure you apply everywhere. Generously make sure you got any little spots. Continue on until you get it all painted. And once it's all painted, you wait till it dries and you go ahead and seal it. Now that's what it looks like once it's all applied. All right, I can see a couple of spots that I miss and I do go back and touch those up underneath the curls and things like that. But basically that's what you want. Nice and even coat all over the place. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna switch over start applying some shadow color okay so what I did here is I grabbed some dark golden brown from Pro Acryl and mixed in with some cork brown and what I'm doing is I'm applying this where the light does not show like underneath the curls underneath anything that the Sun or the light does not shine okay I'm not using a super dark color I'm just using a little mixture of cork brown with some of that dark golden brown from Pro Acro. Alright, so I'm applying it, see where the light doesn't hit, where it doesn't touch. Okay, and I'm applying it underneath the curls and underneath the, the part, the bottom parts of the braid, behind the hair. Those are the darker places where the hair is going to be. Okay. And you can see I'm doing the same thing on the other side. touching that up and applying those shadow colors now this is the, I do have quite a bit of water in this it's not a wash but you know really thin down okay and then I'm doing now to the head the same thing anywhere where the, the the light does not see the light that's where you're gonna apply those darker colors see I'm applying underneath some behind and then I start going underneath the folds of the hair now this is only where the higher the where the light doesn't shine like if you see I'm not gonna do too much in the creases on the top of the head other than some areas where these curls are quite large and cast a shadow okay for the most part the light my light source is coming in from the top front okay of the figure Alright, so any areas like behind and underneath, you can apply these darker colors. Okay. You can see there, I'm just doing underneath the curls a little bit on the sides. And then I'm going to also be doing some on the back. And just applying those darker colors underneath those curls. It's a little sloppy, but you're going to be putting more color and blending a little bit more. Now if you messed up in any place or anything like that, you can always fix it by applying a different color later on. But right now it looks a little sloppy, so that's okay. We'll fix that up. Okay. So now I'm switching over to golden brown. Okay. And a little bit of cork brown in there too. Okay. And what I'm doing is I, apply, I first applied a 25% golden brown and then this is going to be the mid-tone okay guys this golden brown right here is going to be the mid-tone so it's golden brown and in uh, cork brown and just 
just apply it like in the higher areas. Okay. See, I'm adding a little more just there because I think it was a little too diluted. That's what the problem was there. All right, but just, just apply the colors on the top where this light is going to hit the hair. Okay. See how I'm leaving those shadow areas and stuff like that alone? But I am applying quite a bit of color where those... Same thing with the head. Wherever the light is sitting. And I'm not going all the way down with the paint, if you can see that. I'm going wherever that light is hitting the hair. In general. Okay. And I'm going about midway down. And any I'm going to hit any of those curls that are sticking out. That light might hit it on the side and things like that. So you'll see better once I get for a little further down to see how I'm applying from the top and then I just start hitting some of those just some of those strands of hairs that are sticking out and doing some edge highlighting and see how I'm doing a little edge highlighting of those parts that are sticking out right there right. so if you put that thing facing up and you make believe that you're looking you know from where the sun and the light would hit, that's where you want to put paint. Okay. And that's what I'm doing right there. All right. And keep on doing a little edge highlighting. And that is going to be like your mid-tone color, guys. Okay. So now I'm adding some pastel yellow. Okay, from AK Interactive. <clears throat> now I'm starting to use a smaller brush and I'm using I'm just stringing along doing the higher highlights okay if you can see I'm not going all the way down I'm just going about midway to where those the, the previous color was placed okay now I'm shrinking down the highlights I bring the highlights a little bit higher Okay, and increasing the value of the of the lighter color as I go along. I'm starting here with like a a 25% pastel mixed with the golden brown. Okay, and I keep on increasing that to as I increase it, the value of the pastel yellow, the lighter color. I am shrinking the size of the highlight. a little bit better as we go along with here <clears throat> I'm doing the same thing just doing stringing in the higher parts and things like that I'm just adding some extra lines of that mixture and this is about 25% pastel yellow and about 75% golden brown okay. and I'm just going around along building my halo okay going around and adding color same thing with any of those stringy hairs that are sticking out they might catch some light I'm just adding some color I'm just using the side of my brush to do that okay. and I'm just adding a little bit of color there here and there okay just keep on going around and keep on adding some color and you keep on increasing the value of the and shrinking the size of your halo as you go lighter, you go smaller with the highlights. Okay. Now this is where I'm mixing a little bit more of the yellow of the pastel, putting a little more pastel. And see how I'm shrinking the size of my halo to a smaller. I'm not going all the way down further, but I'm just saying short strokes. I'm just doing the top of the hairs. I'm just increasing that the highlight. showing you there what I did. Now I'm going to start adding a lighter color. The color that I'm adding is a highlight skin from the Nocturia, Noctur, Nocturna series of, of, of Vallejo. And again, I'm just using more of that highlight mixed in with the golden brown. Okay. And just going lighter and lighter and tighter and tighter on the halo. But 
also adding some highlights in some of those areas that are sticking out. See, very short, sweet highlights. Okay, Just small strokes. Small highlights goes a long way. See how I'm doing just little areas where the sun would just shine on those parts or the light. You see how everything starts from the middle, it seems like. And you go as light as you want, guys. This is as dark as you want in the shadows and as light as you want. It's how you want to portray your, your character. And here I'm adding some highlights to the eyebrows. Just very gentle, subtle highlights here and there. And I'm just tampering down with, the, with my finger. All right. All right, everybody. So we're pretty much done with the hair. Uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge must say so the first time that i paint started painting this i had to stop and re redo and repaint because i didn't like the initial color that i went with but then i changed it up and then now i'm happy er okay so there she is right there all right now i gotta just gotta seal it and everything should blend together now see the back when the light doesn't show the shadows are stronger and the highlights are even higher. All right, so that's that's what I'm going with. I am thinking about doing just sealing it or maybe just blending a little bit more, but I don't want to mess around with it too much, to be honest with you. So there she is right there. All right, I think she came out pretty good. All right, so I'm not sure how much I filmed of this. I, I know that I, there's a piece that I didn't film. So I'm gonna just go over real quick what colors I used and how I used them. All right, so I used a base tone color of cork brown, obviously, okay, and then I started mixing uh, cork brown, well, I did a little wash of a darker color of the dark golden brown, all right, underneath the shadows, just very lightly, that just went underneath that, and then for doing the, started doing the highlights, all the different highlights, um, Oops, I started mixing, I started with 75% cork brown, 25% uh, golden brown, and then I started raising the value of the lighter color. I went to 50% if it, you know, on each, and then I went to 75% uh, lighter, and then the cork brown, and then I got rid of the cork brown totally, and I went in with... Um, with golden brown with the touch of high, high in, uh, highlight skin from uh, Nocturnia series. It's a very, very light fleshy color. Very, very light. All right. Very light, like a very light pink to it. So then I started mixing these two until I went totally just with this. All right. For the highlights. So mixing paint and stuff like that, I went through that whole process of just you know mixing and lighten it as I was going higher and higher this is the halo so the lighter colors started to getting smaller and smaller until I went to totally light on the very top okay in some very areas where I, I put this like this and I see where the Sun is hitting from the top and if there's a little flaky hair right there I will put a little bit of highlight on that all right sticking out just put a little bit of highlight on it just like that get that effect same thing with the uh, the braid okay you see a lot of mixed colors but if you look from underneath there's a lot of shadows under that all right so that's what you kind of want all right so that the hair naturally just look that way all right so there you go right there all right it looks good all right you want to make it do it easy you just dry brush it but you know i wanted to brush it in so all right just to get the right effect okay so there you go right there so this weekend we're going to uh, continue with the armor okay and then the base 
obviously. Okay, and I have the sword that I have to finish. Okay. This is the next week for the Way of the Dragon is probably going to be the last episode and then we'll do everything else off off camera. If I'm working on something, I'll try to record it and add it onto, you know, this this little mini series that I got going on over here, all right? But I love the way the flesh came out. I'm really now that the hair is in, I'm really happy the way the flesh is. I think it looks really really good. I just got to put a little gloss on the lips and finish the eyes. All right? And obviously I'll use Frank's from Evolution X gals on that. All right? It's a nice bus, beautiful looking bus. Look at that, guys. It just looks outstanding. See, it's very difficult to tell where your flesh tone is until you actually put, you know, the hair color in there. And I'm really happy the way it is. All right, so no touch up needed there. I'm really happy. I already dropped it. I almost broke one of the hairs. <laughs> All right, but there it is right there, guys. All right, so follow us on Way of the Dragon. You know, I hope you guys join us there and so you guys can learn something. Um, or just just drop in to say hello. You know, a lot of people do that. All right, but um, uh, anybody's always welcome to come and join us and watch, or you can paint along with us. All right, don't forget that this kit is available by uh, through ny3dcreations.com. Uh, he's you know he's the only one that's printing these right now so you know it might be some other people who have this file but you know as of right now you can probably only get it through Mike at ny3dcreations.com all right beautiful kit love it all right so follow us we're gonna finish the armor and all the other stuff on the next episode hopefully we'll get that far all right still don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet but you know I have some ideas all right Thank you guys for joining. I'll see you next time. Peace.